brains. You have one, I have one, bees have one. Look at those guys, bees with brains. And along with those brains come emotions. See, us in the beekeeper world see bees as emotionally mature animals. Bees really care. They feel. They love. Let's focus in on a personal favorite specimen of mine, Henley. First thing to understand about emotions, they are multi-layered. We are always feeling more than one thing at once. Ever notice how when you're feeling particularly blue, saying you're sad doesn't quite capture it? On the surface, Henley may seem mad, right? Because another bee has taken her favorite honeycomb. But, like, there's more going on than just anger. She's also feeling hurt and jealous because the bee who took it was her friend. Mad might be the easy way to put it, but the emotions are much more complex. It can be helpful to try to look for more than the feeling on the surface. What are you really feeling? Oh, here comes Carl. He's a bit of a stone compared to Henley. His best friend also stole his favorite honeycomb, but Carl's all like, no big. Henley and Carl are different bees, so they experience emotions differently. The same goes for humans. Yikes. I suppose Henley should also know that emotions are temporary. So, I should tell Henley that what she's feeling will die down in an hour or so. She should wait until then to address her honeycomb-stealing friend. If she acts rashly in the heat of the moment, she could ruin their friendship forever. As you can see, she's still upset. That goes into our final point. It's important to accept that we cannot control our emotions. Don't try to shove down the way you're feeling. Instead, assess it. What are the layers? Why do you feel this way? While you can't control the emotions, you can control how you act on them. If there's one thing I've learned from bees, it's that being able to name your emotions can help you deal with them in an effective way. Thank you.